Hello again, everybody. I'm Katie Thulin sitting here with Justin Gamble, and we are about to bring the conversation back to Earth. Justin has very interesting topics he'd like to discuss today, and Justin, the floor is yours. Um, one of the articles I wrote recently, I, uh, you know, as, as a child, most other kids wanted to be like Superman or Batman or whatever, and I always personally wanted to be like the evil genius because uh, it looked like they had way more fun. Oh, had, totally. Absolutely. They had the cooler toys. They always had, like, some hot chick in leather kicking everybody's butts. Like, it always made more sense to me to be the evil genius. Uh, and so as an adult, you know, I've kind of revisited that idea. So, like, Dr. Evil, evil genius, or, like, Pinky and the Brain? A little of both. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, as an adult, I've, I've decided to step up my evil genius game. Okay. And, uh, like, for instance, I went to... I found a meeting room for people that were meeting for uh, obsessive compulsive disorders, and I skewed all the pictures on the walls uh, and shuffled some papers around. Note to self, do not invite Justin to my next OCD meeting. Yeah, um, so I thought that was pretty evil, and uh, occasionally I like to order pizzas and have them sent to retirement communities so that old people try to figure out if they actually ordered the pizza or not. <laughs> Well, you know, the deal is old people have to eat too, and frankly, I'd say like 75% of the old people would probably just eat it anyway and just say, I don't eat Well, I, I, I just, I live for that awkward conversation between the delivery driver, like, did I order this? And the guy's like, uh, it's got your name and your address on it. And well, there you go. I mean, get, if he gets money. Well, and it, you know, no, that, was, no harm to foul. that was the whole thing was I was trying to step up my evil genius mm -hmm. game, and I read an article about the Department of Energy um, for like 30 years, there was a bill, there was a, a charge on your electricity bill, and it was minuscule, it was like 75 cents. Most people paid an average of like $2 a year. Across 31 million customers for like 30 years, the next thing you know, they've got like $40 billion in the bank, and that money was supposed to have gone to build a nuclear waste storage facility that they never even planned they never they're like yeah we're gonna open it in 1998 and it never doesn't exist happened. and so yeah. there were some regulatory commissions that came out and they were like uh yeah you've been charging people money for all these years and, and it took that long for them to figure that out well uh i think you know since it had been i don't know 14 years since the thing was supposed to have been opened some people got suspicious that it yeah. had never even been built yeah so uh, I went back and I did a little more research and I actually found out that the, about the time that they started charging that fee was right around the time Superman 3 came out and Richard Pryor's character in Superman 3 was the one that created the scheme where he'd steal a couple of pennies here and there and become a billionaire. So I think the Department of Energy literally stole that idea from Richard Pryor's character in Superman 3 and they just now had to quit, stop. They had to stop charging the fee because they haven't done anything with it. So we should blame Richard Pryor for all of this. <coughs> I don't know that we should blame Richard Pryor specifically. I think we should. Well. Let's do it. <laughs> it's convenient since he's dead, but. Well. Is he hey, dead? You can, you Is Richard Pryor no, alive? I, I, Richard Pryor's alive. He just seems to me like he's he dead. should be dead. He's dead. No. If he, if he was alive, he should be dead. Brilliant comedian. I just he doesn't seem like. No, he yeah, Richard home. Pryor actually died recently. Yeah, he, he didn't seem like he was going to make it into the. Into he was the, funny though. I will give him that. He was funny, but. But I I just think it's a it's a brilliant concept. It that, is. You know, and and the funny thing to me was that, you know, the these different energy commissions came out and they said, well, you know, you need to refund these customers all this money that you've, and the Department of Energy just kind of extended their middle finger and was like, <laughs> no. We're going to put it in the bank and let it collect interest. Hopefully, sure. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Now, why did they ever give a, like, a re... What has happened to this money since? Uh, uh, it sits in a bank account and collects interest. And oh, so well, at least something's sitting in a bank account collecting interest. The, the Department of Energy said, okay, well, by 2042, we'll, we'll build a, a real one, you know, since we got caught not building the fake one. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, but it's going to be like 50 years before. I think in, in their proposal, they gave themselves 20 years to plan it and like 40 years to build it. And exactly what is this facility that they're trying to build? Well, the, the, it's a, a nuclear waste storage site. And the, the people who got charged the fee 
live in states where they have nuclear reactors. Right. Because right now there's very limited nuclear waste storage facilities. Can we just throw it all in Detroit and just I <laughs> get it out of the way? I mean... She's got a point. <laughs> yeah, my initial idea was to shoot it into space. That could be a good, you know, idea, but... The next time they've got some satellite on its way to take a selfie with Uranus, they can just pack it full of nuclear There's waste. There's so many places I can go with that, but I'm just going to not because it's just too easy. I, I set them up <laughs> and knock them down. <laughs> now, is there anything else besides the lack of a nuclear waste facility that you'd like to discuss? You seem like a very interesting character, and but what else would you did you want to be when you grew up? Um, even from a young age, I've always said the only thing I want to be when I grow up is Bill Withers. Yeah, love it. Love Bill Withers, but you know. I got a learn how to play a guitar and sing and uh, you know I'm white yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah. I think I've got a ways to go with that one I think uh, you know with some dogged determination I think I can still be Bill Withers when I grow up you know it's all about the ambition I you think know? so I think if so you, if you can dream it you can do it so thank you so much Justin for being with us Our Simple Earth we'll be back with another episode I'm Katie Thulin